wake up people uh later on in this video i'll actually show you the results of what is fought by yoshi believe it or not what he thinks of the the window cat bed yes we can hear weird noises but that's called the next door neighbors these things happen you can't predict when it is quiet and when it is noisy I mean the video that I was trying to upload the other day which was to do with the uh, when I went to Fertie's Drive because I like the paranormal I do like exploring I love animals that's where I've got cats obviously and the thing that I've been it's been half an hour so I may make a second uh, account because I keep tarantulas as well and somebody said, oh, will people will be able to find your address from the code on uh, the parcel that you showed. And I'm like, yeah, they may want to come around for the cats. But once they know I've got tarantulas and 23 of them, they may just quickly run out the door. I'm not bothered. I've never been bothered by any type of spider, to be honest. So it takes a lot for me to be bothered by quite a lot because obviously having children as well and then bringing you in things and even cats bringing in things. I find I'm not really bothered by it much at all. I, there is one creature I don't particularly like. Not that I'm scared of it, I just particularly don't like it. Exactly, Shadow agrees with me, don't you Shadow? Yeah? Good boy. So I'm gonna load this camera so you can see the cats because there's a few cats in here and I'm also gonna do a unboxing or opening a package. I think some are for the cats, which I won't show you right now because obviously the cats might not be too sure. And I will try and show a bit more of the cat bed on the window because Yoshi seems to be the only one using it at the moment. And it's been on the window a few days because that's why it's not, not always good to try and show you right in the day because cats have to get used to, used to it. And they're one of them like, well, what's this? Oh, what, what does this do? Why is this here? And they'll check it out. But when it's a box, that's it. They don't care. No matter what size, they'll try and get into it. Anyway, so I'm going to lower this down. And you can uh, then see the cats at the lower, uh, yeah, lower level and the stuff that I'm opening. So see you in a second. First of all, Shadow wants to show off how cute he is. Don't you, Shadow? <laughs> oh, lovely boy, aren't you? He's quite vocal when he wants to be, especially if he wants your attention. <laughs> right. Excuse me, mister. Hang on. As you can see, there's a few cats on the bed because it's not as warm today, so they always find their place where they want to be. That's going to be comfortable. Find the scissors. Nope. These ones. Are not. There we go. So this is the package. Oh, I know what this is. This is not for me. This is for Zippy Seeds. One of them vacuum bags. Doesn't have the thing on it, but I've got some spare ones anyway. Good idea though, this thing for mine. So let's see. What have I bought? Let me just hide this out of the way. Let's catch some noisy things. What have I got? It's a little cat bed. It's only a small one. There. And it's got a little cushion. I'll give it a different colour and put it there. Yes, it'll only fit one cat. 
since it's that many cat beds and no my lot they'll probably try and fit two so i've got a small one because i'm going to try and replace some of these boxes because some of them are falling apart so cat bed what do you think not impressed <sighs> now this That has a note. And this was an idea to uh, do training with the cats. And let's open this one. And get the corner. Yeah, there we go. Right. All right. I don't mind. Rip it too much of anything needs sending back, that's the thing. And try and put that away so it doesn't go towards the cats as well. There we go, it's an actual pet bell. So Interested. Oh. Yoshi's thinking about the bed. Oh, is that nice and soft? That's the thing that with cats, they like something nice and soft under their paws. Now, it might be a little bit small, but then I can always buy another one and get the next size up. But I know what cats are like, they'll get into that space. I could even take them the cushion out and we can just have the bottom bit. There's so many things you can do. And from the size they fit into some of the boxes that I've got over there, it looks too small, but it won't be. Especially when they want to get in them. They're quite funny cats, they're quite versatile with their body and manage to flex themselves into some really weird and bizarre positions. <laughs> This other item, excuse me, Mr. Shadow. Again, yeah, it's got me addressed. I'll open it this way because I always buy a replacement. As you've known, I um, used some hot glue and I repaired the cat tree because even though all the material was fine, the actual rope obviously had been worn away by the cat tree using the nails. So I buy a replacement. And this will do for when I need to do it again. So I don't mind doing it. It's just if the material or the things become that worn, I just throw them out and then just buy new ones. And I usually buy ones that are a little bit pricey. So they last longer. Just, I've had so many different cat treats and I find it's just the ropes that have worn away and not the actual, the scans, the tubes, the little beds with them are all in perfect condition. So sometimes you can just replace the rope and it lasts longer and you can save money that way as well so more scissor rope for the kitties and in the box over there we have just like fast hey baby yeah hello good boy aren't you yes you are <laughs> You come in. You coming over. You come in. You're just staying in your box. <laughs> Little boy. Right. I think this video is long enough. Whoa, 10 minutes. <laughs> anyway, I will show the progress of all the things that I bought. Well, this mainly. And this. And I'll show them again in another video. Well, I got more boxes and uh, yeah, got some more things. This is what happens when you get boxes. You get a Tyrion in one. Hi Tyrion. And you get his brother 
cube lie in another. Might actually make something out of these boxes, I'm not too sure. It would be ideal. It'd go a lot better than the tank, which I'll show you the results of that. And now we come to the tank. After they had their wild battle with the, the naughty mice, I didn't see any mice at all, but then apparently that's the whole reason. But this little bit here has not survived very well. What they do is they actually just jump in this part when they go inside it. And uh, yeah, this bit here, because they use their weight to stand on it. This bit is quite firm, but this bit isn't. So I just think anything that's like a box that comes to two parts, they're really not interested in. Yes, I know it's your toy. And I've just moved a few things around to make things a bit more sturdy for them because obviously it's a lot easier for them. And I've moved their water as well because they couldn't get to it very well. And with it being warm, you don't want your cats to uh, dehydrate. So I've just basically put some on there so they're off the floor and they're at an easier level for them to drink. Yeah, cats have their ways. I do believe I'm getting followed by a... Kubalai, are you baby? My good little boy, aren't you? Yes, you are. This is usually the cat greeting. Let them sniff your hand and never stroke. Just, I always do that. Yeah, you need brushing again, don't you? Oh, and your brothers come. Yes, these two are two blood brothers. This is Tyrion. Hello, little boy. Tyrion and Kublai. Two brothers. Yeah, so these two boxes I've got here. Obviously, I know the cats are loving them. <laughs> got Tyrion back in this one. And Kublai followed me into the bathroom. But I'm thinking of maybe making something out of these. Now, these are quite strong. Especially this bag's box quite strong as well and uh, I think we're making them into something and I know the cats are them. I've got some crafting knives so I'll be able to use them to make little doors and this that and the other and maybe just paint it with some non-toxic um, poster paint something like that so I've got ideas I've always got ideas because they've got lots of toys so it'll be one of them where I can make a box, maybe put paper in it, maybe throw some treats in so they can do like a little scavenger hunt. But they love things like that. If you hide little treats around the house as well, I mean, you've seen I've got little puzzle boxes for them. It's things to keep their minds busy and I'm always trying to think of new things, buying new toys. It's something I try to do all the time. So otherwise they get bored and you know, that's when they start fighting. I can never tell which way I'm meant to move on this camera. So, yeah. I do believe the the video that I was shown when I was unwrapping stuff, I probably cut it a bit. So, don't worry about it because I thought it was quite long and really, really boring. So, it was like, yeah, get rid of that bit. <laughs> like you do. Hi, Tyrion. I lowered this camera so you can see him. There we go, that's much better. It's a bit more. There we go. <laughs> the kitty hello. The kitty hello. Smell your fingers and then put that head into your hand. <laughs> anyway, maybe. Wait, Tori, we're going to try the other box. Anyway, 
I do hope you like, share and subscribe. <laughs> subscribe. To and uh, yes, thank you for watching.